previously on the Kadikawa Show. Ah, now. now here's part two. No, 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 no! Daz! You complete and utter bastard! Why did you give me this? Didn't you hear me in my Dalmatians 3 video? I have nothing to say. Do you even know what to say? Because I sure don't. Yeah, that's it. And I still have nothing to say! Arf! No, no. I'm not doing this. No, 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 no. James, no. what's the problem? I'm trying to forget that this game exists. What game? <laughs> Snow White and the Seven Clever Boys. <laughs> what? Well, that doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> oh my, this game really is the apple of your eye, isn't it? <laughs> you know what? That joke was terrible. And because of that, I'm going to hit you again. Come on, that doesn't even make any sense! Go on then, read the back! Snow White lives deep in the perfect forest, live with seven clever boys who... No, 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 no
Bring it on, Phoenix Games. My greatest adversary. Near the seventh town across the seventh river, there was a beautiful forest. So the narrator fills us in on what's going on. It was wonderful. All because the forest was kept perfectly in order by seven clever and thoughtful young boys. Great, this makes sense so far. And here they are. First there was Cubby, who was like a small bear. Best introduction ever. And then there was Big Basil, who was huge. Well, for a boy, he was huge. <laughs> oh my god, this narrator is going to hell. Where I'll be waiting for him. And then Sonny, who took care of the plants and the animals. I can't believe Sony okayed this. Are you seeing this? Sony gave this the thumbs up in 2007. Yeah, you heard me! 2007! That is when this game came out! Sony okayed this racist shit in 2007! Oh my god! And Jacob, who was in charge of keeping order in the forest. Then Michael, who cared for the flowers. And then the professor, who was the most intelligent. And then the seventh boy, Joseph Jr. And Joseph Jr. had nothing redeeming about his personality whatsoever, hence we didn't talk about him at all or assign him to any role. He just sat around with his thumb up his ass, hoping for his daddy, Joseph Sr., to do his work. So there you go, that's the intro you're given. It makes sense so far, I suppose, and honestly, the quality far surpasses that of Dimensions 3 already from presentation and sound alone. Sure, it's written dreadfully, and this is a thing, but it's tolerable at least. Well, until the clever boys, who are so clever that they can't live without each other in their own houses, no Noticed that their house was broken into. How could that be? Who could it be? Oh, there's a funny face on the chimney. Oh my pants! What is that? What is going on? Wait, wait, what? What? No, no, I'm with the narrator here. What's going on? Why did the chimney have a face and arms? Why was he blocking the only method for the smoke to escape? Why isn't this girl choking from the backed up fumes caused by this thing? Why did the narrator cut out far too early? Why do none of the characters here resemble the cover in any way, shape or form? Which is hilarious seeing as though if you just use the fucking characters within the game on the front of the box, you wouldn't have any trouble with Disney whatsoever. Why is this bitch moving around like she needs oiling? Why is this video cropped so badly that there's this unbelievably irritating gap on each side of the brain? Just zoom it in a little bit for fuck's sake! <coughs> Out of nowhere, we come to a song. Yes, a song. Appreciate the higher effort here over Dalmatians, but it's one of the worst songs I've ever heard. It adds nothing. It answers nothing. It drags on for far too long. It literally makes the mouse cursor yawn because of how boring it is. And this intro line, my god, it's perfect. This is my song, I'll sing it now. Um... Hey, Pup Icarus, have you got anything? Nope, I haven't. Same here. Don't look at me like that, you bugger! Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. God, I'm, I'm so, no, seriously, I am sorry. This video is just so impossible to script and I just have no idea what to say. Hey! Don't be so rude! Stop it! No! I'm so sorry, everybody, stop it! <laughs> Anyway, this part of the game is what I like to call the Jealous Song. And you know why that is? Because she says that word too much. Jealous, 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 jealous. She's talking about an evil queen, apparently, but what she's jealous of exactly? I don't know, the song never says. To be fair, the song also expects me to believe that the clever boys are now slime hybrids. The fact that they just join in with the song despite not knowing who this person is or what she's singing. The fact that they have access to fully functioning disco lights and mics in the time of Snow White. And the fact that the token racist character is now designated to popping away on the saxophone. But hey, at least this game does have something better than Dalmatians 3. Interactivity. Yeah, I can actually move this mouse. And I can use it to make a remix of this just classic masterpiece of a song. She has chased me. menu. Anyway, according to the narrator about five hours later, that was in fact Snow White. You know, the girl from the cover. 
I mean, I'm glad I don't get to see this, but at least be bloomin' consistent, you bags. Snow White might as well be called Ho Shite from the way she looks here. Yes. Ho Shite. Ho Shite and the Seven Naughty Toys. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh, oh. oh my wow. So, Snow White came to stay with the seven boys. Of course she did. And the boys promised they would look after her and keep her safe from the evil queen. Okay, assuming that I know nothing about the story of Snow White, which I'm not gonna go over right now because this show isn't fucking Jack and Ori, where did Snow White come from? Why does she need looking after? Why did it take one song that explained absolutely nothing to persuade the boys to let her stay with them? Doesn't matter. This guy skates on water like a radical Jesus. Water to wine, he's a drink exchanger. And he died for your sins. Their work hardly seemed like work at all. It was more fun than work. They were such good boys, weren't they? Dude, please, don't say that in the way that you did. I feel unclean. Anyway, the story that is as well knit as this net right here continues out of nowhere because the evil queen we've heard about then disguises herself as an ugly old hag and she made Snow White perform the infamous ritual of the story where she bites into a poisoned apple and that very same apple is now starting to bleed. Oh my God. Ah, no, 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 no. So yes, Snow White is now unconscious and the clever boys that are so clever that they don't know how to counteract the poison are rather sad about it. No more Snow White to meet them and smile her lovely smile at them or sing her lovely songs never ever ever again oh yes no more songs the one song the one song she sang before she even met them which explained nothing bug me backwards i'm heartbroken but suddenly something happened there in the distance a cloud of dust Oh my god, yes, wow! Did you hear that, Portal Turret? Did he say what I thought he said? Yes, I think he did. Holy fucking shit, a cloud of dust is coming to save the day. I know, right? My fucking fuck fuck god, I could literally piss myself with excitement. Too far! Too far! I'm sorry. <laughs> don't worry, it's okay. Please don't be angry with me or I'll go ahead and cry now. You're not even listening to me right now. I'm sorry. Yeah, watch out. The cloud of dust comes to save the day, which turns out to be a boy on a bicycle, which turns out to be Prince Charming. Oh, of course it was. How could I not notice that that was Prince Charming? I could tell it was him from all this distance from his big throbbing. Adam's apple. No, in all seriousness, I don't get it. Do you get it? I don't. Nobody does. Who fucking cares? Hooray! Then everybody dances around a fire and then we end with this. The seven clever boys and Snow White and Prince Charming all lived happily ever after and even after that. Seriously though, this is it? May I remind you that this is a PS2 game released in 2007, the same year that Shadow of Chernobyl, Portal, Super Mario Galaxy, Uncharted, God of War 2, Skate, Tools of Destruction, Conor McRae, Dirt Rock Band, and Zelda Phantom Hourglass came out. Also, fuck you, I love this game, all right? Oh, even if you don't like Phantom Hourglass, it's still better than this. I thought the 45 minute anguish in Dalmatians 3 was bad enough, but their Phoenix games are sitting on their pile of money, making a game that is less than a cutscene's worth of a cartoon and a bad cartoon at that. Yeah, most cutscenes and games don't even last fucking six minutes. They keep going on and here these people are selling you a single cutscene. That's it. As the story ended, I sat there in desperation, hoping for something else to pop up. A choice to make. Another chapter in the story. Hell, at least anything similar to the length of Dalmatians 3. But nope. For the 4.7 gigabytes PS2 discs could hold in 2007, the entirety of this game only used about 300 megabytes. That's about 6.4% of the entire disc being used here. And 6.4% of effort used by Phoenix Games when they created this Lovecraftian abomination. Even though the actual animation itself is of much higher quality than Dalmatians 3, this is easily the worst PS2 game out there because of the complete lack of absolutely anything. Thing. For the time that it came out, the lack of quality control, caring to improve at all from Phoenix Games, blatantly horrendous copy and pasting, no difference in minigames, the fact that it's officially licensed by Sony and that it costs me money and just- This game gets slaughtered. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm going to bed and I'm going to die.
Hey everyone, thanks for watching me torture myself. Now, you know in this game, Snow White had seven clever boys looking after her. Well, you lot are all clever for getting this far. You're not all boys, I know, there's some girls in there, but you're all clever for getting this far and you're all amazing for getting this far and listening to me ramble about anything fucking pointless. So because of how clever you are, I have to offer you something very special and it's on this website called the Pixel Empire. And I think you guys will like the Pixel Empire a lot because what they specialize in are professionally designed and originally designed video game, TV and movie wall prints ready for framing, high glossy quality images and everything. Some of these designs are utterly beautiful. There's so many of them on the site and um, the, um, they ship internationally as well. That's something that's pretty useful. And um, what's great is that today, because I'm partnered with them, I can offer you a special little treat just as a little thank you for watching this video. If you go to the site, order anything you want and use the coupon code CADDY in big capital letters on checkout, you get 15% off of absolutely anything that you want on the site and everything that you do do on the site not only will you get an amazing wall break but it also supports my channel directly so if you want another way of supporting then by all means please have a look thanks for listening everyone Hello again, everybody. If you like this video, then please show your support by liking, commenting, favoriting. No, you don't favorite on YouTube anymore, but basically interact with these videos because even if you're subscribed to my channel, well, you won't see what I'm doing because YouTube will not put me in your sub boxes if you don't interact. And if you're not subscribed at all, please consider subscribing. That would mean the world to me because then you'll be able to see every video I make, which is now twice a week. Also, go in the description. You'll find lots of interesting things there, like what I just mentioned about Pixel Empire and my Game Scrubber collection. So you can see what games are on my shelves, what I'm buying, what I'm playing, and you can get the games yourself directly from the site, so that's very, very cool. Also, if it's your birthday today or watching this video, happy friggin' birthday to you, and please remember to stay beautiful. For a decent game to find